At this time now, we're going to discuss how the carry-all rack can tilt away from your vehicle, allowing you access to the rear hatch to your van or your SUV. Now, we talked about the safety pin earlier, which I hold in my hand. It has been removed from the rack for the purpose of this demonstration to begin with. So what I'm going to show you now is that without the safety pin, if you remove the spring clip and you let the rack fall, it will go all the way to the ground. Now if you have your, if using it on a truck and you have things in the bed and you'd like to remove them without the rack, you can do so this way. Now, what all you do now is lift the rack and depending on the height and the angle of your vehicle, you may have to lift this bar just a little bit to get it into its slot. Just push it upright, re-put the clip in. Now I'll show you about the safety pin. Let me get down here. So because we're using a two inch receiver, the top, uh, safety pin goes in the top spot here, and then right here, and then the cotter pin will go in to make sure it can't come undone. Now if you're using an inch and a quarter receiver, this bottom slot is for your safety pin. And now, what happens is when I remove the spring clip from the top again, and I let the rack tilt, it will not fall all the way to the ground. It will reach this point and it will stop. And as you can see here, it hit the safety pin and that's what's keeping it on this angle. Now, you have access to the back of your vehicle, if your SUV or your van. So, but it's worth mentioning, as you can see here, with the rack tilted on this angle, should you be using the bottom tiers to carry any of your attachments, it is possible that the attachment will hit the ground before the rack reaches the safety pin. This is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just something to be aware of so you don't damage any of your attachments or anything you have secured to them. When you're done and ready to get back on the road, close your hatch. It's as simple as pushing the rack back into the upright position and then putting the safety pin back, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, spring clip back into place. And there you have it covered on how to handle and use your rack and how to make it more user friendly to your vehicle.